Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna look at React Beautiful D&D. So adding drag and drop to a list that you have. So if you have this use case where you have a list and you need to make each and every item drag and droppable and the position of these items should be reordered when you drop them, you go with this library called React Beautiful D&D. This is especially made for these use cases adding drag and drop to a list so as you can see I have a finished code right here so I have a list and I can drag and drop these guys and they reorder so it stays in the position so this is what we're gonna build now using react beautiful D&D right so let's get started I'm going to remove all this code that I've written before just remove this I'm just gonna have a text called hello Right, I'm going to remove this, I'm going to remove all this code. Right, so all I have right now is I have this data, which is nothing but an array of objects. It has a name and an ID, and I just put this data in this list, React, which is a React use state list, so basically a hook. So I just put this data into this list hook that I have. So this list is what we will be rendering in the uh, drag and droppable list of React Beautiful D&D. So the whole React Beautiful D&D adding this to your application has mainly four steps, right? So we're gonna start out with that. First step is you. So obviously you you import all this. You import three stuff, three things from React Beautiful D&D, which is the drag drop context, droppable and draggable. So step number one, we're gonna use the drag drop context. So your drag drop, drop context is your main wrapper that goes through your entire application that has your list. Like all the stuff you you want drag and drop to happen, you wrap it around with your drag drop context. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just gonna have this drag drop context. Right, so what drag drop context gives you, it gives you a bunch of stuff. It gives you like, it gives you uh, a method on on end on start and on update so for this really simple list all we need is on end right and I'm going to call a function called on end my own function so let's just call it const on end it gives me some result we'll, we'll check out this result uh, after the list is done right I'm just going to console log the result for now. Right, so step number one is done. Now step number two. So now we're going to use the droppable. So the whole area where you can drop your item will be wrapped around your droppable. So that is what we're going to do now. We're going to add droppable. Right, and then what droppable has it? It needs a ID. It needs some sort of a droppable ID. Right, so this is uh, very necessary for this. And this ID will be always a string. It should be a string. If it's not a string, your drag and drop doesn't work. So we, you can, we can just give it any sort of ID that you want. I'm just gonna give it some random set of numbers. And what this droppable gives us, it gives us a set of render props that gives us some sort of information. So it gives us two things uh, mainly. So one is to call it provider, provided and a snapshot. right right so what this provided in snapshot is it's a bunch of data that lets you bind all the properties of droppable with the div that's inside here right and it also gives you additional information like is an item hovering over the droppable area and so on so that is all the stuff which is in snapshot so based on that information you can actually add an additional styles like if you're hovering over a an area this area it gives you like a value called crew and based on that you can add styles we're not going to look at that for now if you want you can just console log these two values and see what information is there but for this uh video we're not going to do that right so now what we know what we want to have is we have this we, we need to have an added div and we need to bind this div with this provided over here so how we do that is we're going to have a ref over here and we're going to add provider dot inner ref uh, inner ref right it's a method 
So what this does, it, it basically binds this provider with this, it binds this droppable with the div. So everything inside this div becomes a droppable container for React Beautiful DMD. So this is step two. Step two is done actually. Right now we're gonna go through go go to go to step three, which is to use this guy to the draggable. And what draggable is is the item that you want to drag. So in our case, it's each and every list. So this is one draggable. This is one draggable. This kind of draggable. So each and every list item should be wrapped around this draggable. So we're gonna do that right now. So for this, I have this list hook that I have with the data. And I'm going to map this. So this gives me an item. And I also need the index of the map, right? This is necessary for droppable. So now I'm going to add the droppable. Right? And then what we need to do is like just how, uh, oh, sorry. Wait, I just made a huge mistake. Uh, this is draggable because you can drag it so just like how droppable had a droppable ID draggable also has a draggable ID so this would be nothing but it will just be my item dot ID which is this guy over here so the ID needs to be unique always and then what I need to have I need to have a key because it's a map if I don't have a key it will just throw me a warning so I'll just give a unique key which is item dot ID and then we need to give an index key, which is why we got uh, get the index from map. And this is necessary for draggable to work. And just how uh, dra droppable gave a set of provider and snapshot, draggable also has a set of provider and snapshots. So I'm just going to have that snap shot, right? And then again, I have it gives. And just how we, just like how we uh, binded this div with droppable, we also do the same for draggable, right? So we take this and I just, it's the same thing. I'm just wrapping the pro, uh, pro inner ref that is there and provided. And an additional thing what we need to do is we need to add these two guys from provided basically. Provided uh, draggable props and then dot drag handle props, right? So what these two does is draggable props basically gives all the data to make this div draggable, and drag handle props says that this div is your drag handle. Basically, uh, I can just grab this whole div. And it, it will make the div draggable, right? So if I if I if I just want a specific point in the div to be draggable, like um, I should just have a specific point over there, and I I can make that draggable. You just put this to that particular point, right? We, we'll see this at the at the end. It'll be more clear, I hope. So that's it. And what I need to have, I just need to render whatever stuff I need to make this item. Uh, Draggable, that's it. So my div over here, and I just get my item dot name, and we have all these three. Probable ref. Okay, and I think I know what's the problem. So refresh. Yeah. So as we can see guys, our drag and drop is almost ready. One final st step is that if you go to console log, it just gives you this error. It says placeholder could not be found. So you need to add this placeholder from uh, this provided given by droppable, right? So to do that, you need to add it right over here when, when where the droppable is going to end. Uh, wait, not there. It's actually over here. So just add the placeholder. Placeholder, right? So 
now actually it is almost done so if I drag and drop the the motion is done almost so I just I'm just gonna add some bit of style over here I'm just gonna add a padding of 20 pixels zero and then I'm going to have uh, a margin of 20 pixels and zero and then I'm going to add a background color of yellow so that it's a bit nice I like yellow right so now it's a bit more clear right so when I take this we're down so we have a list and the drag and drop motion is done but the order doesn't change so this is so the third step is done so we added our draggable and made each and every item draggable the last step is actually changing the order right so this is where this uh, dragon comes so if, if, I, if you see this console log whenever I drag and drop this function gets called and I get the result so the result has all the data. It, it has the source and the destination, that's what you need. Source is the item that you're dragging and destination is the place that you're dropping, that's it. So it gives you an index, it gives you an ID, it gives you all sort of information that you need. So what we need to do is basically we need to like update the position. And for that, I just stole this function from the internet which basically updates the position. It reorders the list. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this over here. So I'm going to call set list. I'm going to call this function reorder. Uh, it just takes on the list. And then it takes the start index and the end index. So our start index would be this source right here, source.index. Our end index would be destination.index. So result dot source dot index would be a star index and then result dot destination dot index will be our end index so now hopefully it should work I refresh I take one drop it over here the position has been changed so this is all this is how you this is how adding drag and drop becomes so easy using this library react beautiful dnd right so that's it so to summarize drag and drop has four steps for this particular use case first step you add your drag drop context second step second step you wrap this whole uh, place where you want to drop your items in a droppable and then third step you wrap your draggable for each and every item that you want to drag fourth step is you just basically update the order of the list on this drag end function so I hope you found this video useful. I hope uh, everything is explained clearly. Thanks for watching.